Love after 60? Absolutely. At least that's what David, a man with a story to tell, and maybe a pacemaker, and his stunning wife Tiffany, believe. In today's cartoon story joke, their whirlwind romance took a delightful turn just a year in, and let's just say David was feeling like he could conquer anything. But can this playful confidence in his own engine keep up with the demands of a growing family? Buckle up for a hilarious look at a marriage that proves age ain't nothing but a number, with a few cheeky mechanical metaphors thrown in for good measure. A 70-year-old whirlwind named David, with a pacemaker that hummed a suspiciously jaunty tune, married the stunning Tiffany, a woman young enough to be his granddaughter, but with much better taste in men, obviously. Their whirlwind romance culminated a year later in the delivery room, where David was bouncing around like a toddler hopped up on pixie sticks. He looked like he could have bench-pressed the entire medical staff. Let's just say, fatherhood was probably less of a marathon and more of a victory lap for David at that point. A few pushes later, and a healthy, 3.5 kilos baby boy arrived, the picture of perfect health. The exhausted but ecstatic nurse approached David, ready to offer some congratulatory words. So, Mr. Johnson, is this little bundle of joy yours? Oh, you bet he is. And yep, this engine of mine is still working. I mean, look at him. Two years zipped by faster than David on a new scooter with a nitro boost. Doctors strongly advised against it. But hey, the man craved a little speed. Now sporting a permanent cane that coordinated surprisingly well with his collection of novelty socks, think flamingos and spaceships, David found himself back in the familiar territory of the maternity ward, alongside the ever-radiant Tiffany. Another healthy 3.5 kiloliter bundle of joy, this time a beautiful baby girl arrived, letting out a lung-powered scream that could have rivaled a Harley Davidson revving its engine. The familiar nurse, Abby, with a knowing smile that could curdle milk, glanced at David, her eyebrows raised higher than a surprise disco dancer. Another winner of yours, Mr. Johnson? Oh, yes, ma'am. This engine of mine is still working and purring like a kitten. Two more years sped by like a greased pig at a county fair. David still had a scar from that unfortunate incident, bless his heart. Now sporting a hearing aid that whistled feedback whenever a particularly enthusiastic toddler shrieked and a cane that doubled as a handy back scratcher, David found himself back in the increasingly familiar delivery room. This time, however, the room wasn't filled with the sterile scent of newborns and nervous anticipation. No, this time it was a full-on toddler tornado, a rambunctious 3.5-year-old ball of energy with eyes that mirrored Tiffany's and a mischievous grin that could only belong to David. Because, let's face it, the kid had somehow figured out how to operate the vending machine in the waiting room, a feat that even David, in his younger days, wouldn't have dared to attempt. The familiar nurse, Abby, with a look that could melt steel and possibly diagnose a broken toe from across the room, glanced at David, a single eyebrow raised higher than a confused showgirl. Is this one yours, Mr. Johnson? But this nurse was clearly worried about Mr. Johnson's stamina. But you know he is now a 75-year-old man, so his engine is purring more smoke than anything else. So she pushed her thought aside, especially when she saw David beaming with pride. Sure is. This old engine's still running strong. The nurse, bless her ever-observant heart, was practically a fixture in the maternity ward at this point. She could identify a first-time dad from a seasoned pro just by the sweat on their brow. Or, in David's case, the suspicious gleam of worry hiding behind his new bifocals. This time, however, her gaze lingered a beat too long on David. Maybe it was the fact that his cane seemed to be doing double duty as a walker now. Or perhaps it was the hearing aid whistling a jaunty tune that clashed spectacularly with the beeping of the nearby heart monitor. Whatever it was, Nurse Abby puffed out her chest, a woman on a mission. This wasn't just about offering congratulations anymore. This was an intervention. Well, Mr. Johnson, you may want to change that oil of yours. 
This one burnt more fuel and came out black. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.